<laughs> the geeks are here, yay! Time for Geek Beat. Uh, Ryan Ozawa is, uh, let me see, he's uh, on location. He's uh, in he's, New York. He's in New York, yeah, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. got Bert Lum is here, and Isla Young is from Women in Technology. So, what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about basically computer science and education. And I wanted to start off with VEX. There was a VEX competition that happened a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And, and you know, it's really interesting because VEX, uh, there's an IQ and a BRC. The IQ is for elementary and middle school. Nice. And in the, you know, the category of elementary school, um, one of the teams from uh, Sacred Hearts, you know, these great little kids, I mean, they're like third graders and they won. And so they got an excellence award. They're going to head to Louisville, Kentucky. Wow, the the VRC, that. which is the high school, uh, the team that won was Pearl City, and they also got an excellence award. They're heading to uh, Louisville, Kentucky as well for the international. Now the VEX competition here is sort of a pan-Pacific. Mm -hmm. So they invite teams from all over the place. And in this case, there were several teams from China that actually participated in, in this competition. Now. The thing is, it's so, it's so kind of intense that some teams don't even make it to this qualifying round. Mm -hmm. So they're actually having another qualifying round at St. Louis this coming Saturday, the 18th. Okay. So, um, you know, if people are interested in what's happening with VEX and robotics and, you know, getting, it's great to see these kids just get all excited about competing uh, and doing some of these things like, you know, the, um, this uh, ring, ring um, arrangement competition. Uh, there's going to be this, you know, this event over at St. Louis uh, this coming weekend. Got it. The um, the other thing that's kind of interesting that's happening, and this is really picking up momentum across all of the schools, is is the idea of uh, hour of code. And in December, there's going to be a whole week. It's like CS Education, Computer Science Education Week, and this will take place December 4th through the 10th. But on December 8th, there's going to be a special event happening over at Pro City High School, where there's going to be demonstrations of all kinds of different things people, kids can do in learning how to apply coding skills to create things. Okay. Uh, tell me how uh, Isla kind of connects into this too. Well, so the, the, the um, computer science education, a lot of it is really kind of sponsored by an organization called Code.org. Mm -hmm. And so there's a big rollout that Isla and the Women in Technology are actually undertaking. Tell me about that real quick. Very exciting. So we've been selected to be the regional partners here in Hawaii, mm -hmm. um, which really means we're finding the teachers, partnering with our local DOE and our university system and our industry partners to engage and um, help train our teachers. Mm -hmm. So right now we're looking for 30 middle school um, teachers, 30 high school teachers, and then they'll be participating in a wonderful professional development, and then hopefully able to integrate and implement into their classroom. Okay, so you're looking to bring teachers into this so they can teach the kids, or do the kids kind of still teach the teachers it's too? It's kind of the kids, because quickly the children are learning, and then they usually know more than the teachers, but the main thing is that the teachers allow for this to happen, to have the resources there, to let them um, explore and learn, and then hopefully this will become a career path for them. All right, now coming up on the show tonight, you got well, we actually are going to have Isla back on the show. Awesome. And then we also have the Code.org representative who's also in town. We're going to have her on the show. So we'll get into a little bit more depth about the program and what it entails in terms of computer science and education. Okay, and then, of course, the show tonight, you can catch it's that at on? It's at 6.30, HPR 1, mm -hmm. 88.1. That's tonight, 6.30, so tune in. All right, once again, Geeks in Studio. we got more coming up on Sunrise. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll let them dance. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.